Well, every region of, of Mexico and the Southwest have their own style of celebrating uh, Dia de los Muertos. So it takes, uh, you know, many different forms. In Arizona, we celebrate uh, the holiday as a festival, uh, which uh, incorporates a large faction of the community, um, primarily our youth. And uh, there's a lot of music, there's a lot of theater, and particularly the use, extravagant use of uh, masks and ceremonial sculptures. The traditions that our dancers do during Dia de los Muertos is we wear these beautiful calaca masks that are made by Sarco Guerrero, and we, we perform traditional dances from, from different regions in Mexico um, celebrating our ancestors. Every year we invite an artist to make a community altar and we invite people to come and add something to that altar. Maybe a, a picture or a note to your beloved departed so that everybody participates in this beautiful altar. We have kids activities here at the garden for them and they love to be able to paint their faces and be part of it, be part of the reverie. And uh, also I've seen that kids love to dance, like when we have a dance group or a music group that invite them to come up on stage, boy, they're ready to come and participate and have fun. Each year, the, the uh, 10 artists that come and create their altar, um, it gets more and more exciting. Uh, you never know what they're going to do. They're always beautiful. Some are quite powerful, and uh, it's fun to work with artists. Oh, no, Frenda, it's a, a special um, altar, I would call it, or special uh, concept that you create to to remember, to keep up alive that memory and that celebration. So much attention is put into the into the uh, the altar of ofrendas so that we remember those who have passed away and we're able to share our memories with other members of the family and the community. Every year we end the festival with a procession. We do it on Saturday and we do it at the day, end of the day on Sunday. So a lot of families come dressed for it. Their children are fake, they have their face painted or they're wearing masks or special costumes. So we march through the garden with every, all the dancers in their regalia, and their costumes, and we have music. And then we get to Oman Terrace and we gather around a fire pit and then we burn the penas. And it's a sign that our wishes are going up or going to our beloved departed so they don't get forgotten. My husband and I have been a part of Desert Botanical Garden um, Dia de los Muertos celebration since it started. And it's just something that we look forward to all year. It's, it's a time when all the community comes together and we just spend all year making stuff for that one weekend. I want to invite everybody to come and celebrate with the Desert Botanical Garden for this beautiful celebration of color, uh, music, dance, and, and, and creation to celebrate what it means to be alive and, and celebrate with loved ones. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite everybody to come to our annual Dia de los Muertos celebration here at the Botanical Gardens this year and every year because it gets better every time. Uh -huh.